Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're going to be making candy-filled cookies live. So thanks for joining. Thanks, Frankie, for coming on. How are you? Uh, we'll give it a minute for some other people to come on. Karate Joe, hey. So we're going to have a couple choices in our cookies. We're going to fill these cookies. We're going to make regular cookies, whether um, I'll let you guys decide whether we're going to use chocolate chip or peanut butter cookies. And we're going to fill them with either Kit Kats, Reese's, or I have Reese's Pieces too. Um, we have Oreo cookies or Nutter Butter cookies too. So we'll make decisions on what we're going to do in just a moment. We'll let some people come on board and then we'll make these. I'm preheating my oven as, as we speak. Uh, hi, was it Lai? Lai Hey? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Uh, Dwayne, hey, how are you? Joseph, hey, how are you? Uh, Pillsbury Doe, hey, how are you? Gabby from Toy Story, okay. Uh, Jackie, hi. Do both. I might just do that. Um, we mean both cookies, chocolate chip and peanut butter, or just uh, do both candies like Reese's, because I think the Reese's will go really well with the peanut butter cookies. Same with the Reese's Pieces. That'll go really well with the peanut butter cookies. And then Kit Kats, it'll go well with peanut butter cookies too, but um, probably go really well with the chocolate chip. Uh, hello, Voltage. Hi, Emily. How are you? Uh, keep your cookie uh, cookie mixes. Oh, I'll just take the candy. Yeah, the candy is always good. Can't go wrong with candy. Straighten up the camera there. Uh, dude, you're a genius. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, hi, Hannah. How are you? So, yeah, we're going to be filling some cookies with candy. And, of course, Kit Kat was the first thing that came to my mind. But also we have Reese's. We have Reese's Pieces. Um, but, yeah. So what do you think we should do first? Should we do peanut butter? Because that will definitely go well with Reese's and Kit Kat. Or chocolate chip. Give me a choice. Peanut butter or chocolate chip. So let me know, peanut butter or chocolate chip. Hello, Stacy. Hello, make both types of cookies, Kit Kats uh, with the chocolate chip and Reese's with the peanut butter. That's a good decision, I think. Chocolate chip, a couple people said, yeah, you can do peanut butter, chocolate chip, chocolate chip. A lot of people on YouTube are saying chocolate chip or both. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants to do both. I might just do both, who knows? Which one should I do first? Um, hmm. Let's see. We might do both. Let's go with peanut butter first. We'll do peanut butter first because that's the simplest to do. Plus, my bowl already has some butter that's softened at room temperature. That's one of the steps we need for this. So let's angle this down. Um, and y'all can help me decide what we're going to put in the chocolate chip one. We're definitely going to do the Kit Kat. But I also have... I also have Oreo cookies and Nutter Butter. Nutter Butter would definitely go with peanut butter. Oreo cookies, probably the chocolate chip. So I'll do Oreo cookies and Kit Kats with the chocolate chip. And then Nutter Butter Reese's will go with the peanut butter. Let's make sure I got the right stuff here. So this recipe, just follow along. It calls for one stick of butter that's soft in a room temperature. I was kind of late, so I had to put it in the microwave a little bit, but it's still soft. How is your fun food? It's going good, Jeremy. Yep. Hey, thanks for joining. Uh, so, yeah, so we got that. Um, I'm going to put this package in here. And normally I don't use a package like a box mix or pre-made mix. But in live streams I do just because we have to move things along and not take forever. We don't have time to edit things here. So we have that, and it calls for one large egg. That's one large egg here. I have two large eggs out, but we only need one right now. Let's mix this up. This is going to be our chocolate chip mix once everything's mixed up here. I made the same, these same cookies last week. 
for our recipe. What did I make last week? I made something. What did I make? I can't remember what I made last week. Last live. I can't remember. Uh, Mark, hey, how are you doing? You'll have the Nutter Butter Cookies. Yeah, the Nutter Butter Cookies are really good. Uh, Jackie, hi, Tina. How are you? Okay, now these cookies are just about done. Oh, yeah, I made the s'mores cookies last week, didn't I? Yep. All right, so these I'm going to move these eggs out of the way. Let me get a baking sheet. Move this aside. Now, so we have a baking sheet here. Um, this is chocolate chip, so we're going to go with Kit Kat, right? So let's just open up. These are... We're gonna break this off so we'll have one Kit Kat per cookie. And all I'm gonna do now, this is a really wet recipe, but we get my hands a little dirty. Just take some and we're gonna wrap it in this cookie. Get a little bit more. These are gonna be pretty big cookies, by the way. Because I'm just we're just totally putting it inside here. Pretty big cookies. That's my oven. Dude. Two of these Kit Kat ones. Uh, Mega Man says loves Kit Kats. I do too. I mean, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are like my favorite, but Kit Kats are right up there with it. Um, I'm going to do Oreo cookies. I probably should open the package first. Should I do double stuff or regular? I have both. Double stuff or regular stuff? Let me know real quick um, before I wash my hands. I'm going to keep one hand water. I'm going to wash one hand. Because I need to open the package with it. Someone says double stuff, double stuff. Um... Please do double stuff, double stuff. I think it's unanimous. I think no one wants regular stuff. Okay, we'll go to double stuff. Double stuff Oreo cookies it is. I'll bring two of these out. I think two will be good. All right, so we have two double stuffed Oreo cookies with some chocolate chip cookie mix. And let's cover that up. I'm just trying to keep one hand clean, which is a challenge. Like I said, this is a very wet dough. This is gonna really spread a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a very big cookie. It's all right. That's good right there. Try to take some off the top. It's going to be a huge, huge cookie. All right. And we'll do another one. Put a little down here. Push that in. And then put that on top. <laughs> this is just something fun to do. Fun little recipe. Here we go. Make sure it's covered really good. So that cookie will be in the middle of our other cookie. There we go. I have enough for one more. Should I do a Kit Kat or we'll do a Kit Kat. We'll do a double Kit Kat. Open this up. So this Kit Kat's gonna be a doubler. There we go. Enough for one more. Um, do both both Kit Kat and Oreo cookie inside one? I probably could have done that. I don't know that. I'm trying not to make it too big. It's going. They're going to be big enough. These things are going to. 
be gigantic cookies and it might take a while to, to cook, but that's okay. So while these are cooking or baking, we'll move on to our, just grab some of the other dough out of there, put it on top. Why not? So we're not wasting any. These are going to be gigantic cookies, by the way, guys, gigantic, but they're cookies nonetheless, nonetheless. All right, so here we go. We're going to take this, put this in the oven. Um, I have a set of 350. It's probably going to take a little longer than it says to bake because the um, these are rather large cookies. So I'm going to put them in there so we can get that going. Five cookies. I set my timer at 12 minutes, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take longer than that. Give me a minute, I'll clean this up. Soft and nice and wet, but it's all right. All right, so that's clean now. So we'll have the bowl again for our next batch of cookies, which is going to be the peanut butter. I guess it was a good idea to make the chocolate chip first. All right. There we go. All right, clean the beaters too. All right, get a runner spatula. What's that, Kyler? A oh, rubber. I oh, got you. Rubber spatula. Yes, you could. You can mix this a lot of different ways. Um, I'm just doing it with the with a hand mixer just to make it easier. There we go. First time watching JoJo. Hi. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching. We're making these cookies. Uh, we're filling it with different types of candy. And we've already made some chocolate chip ones, which we filled with Kit Kats and um, Oreo cookies, double stuffed Oreo cookies. The next batch we're going to make are peanut butter cookies. And that's going to be filled with Reese's Pieces, Reese's peanut butter cups, and Nutter Butter cookies. So I'll have to get those too. So let me find nose in a minute. Um, just looking over this real quick. All right. Uh, where are we at? So this one calls for this one egg plus three tablespoons of vegetable oil. So I need to get the vegetable oil out. This one doesn't call for the butter like the other one did. All right, why is this not opening? Tear here. Okay, let's cut it. <clears throat> so I hope everyone's having a good Tuesday night. Did everyone enjoy the Nerds Cheesecake recipe I put out on Sunday? That recipe, that was such a good cheesecake. Even I thought it was good, and I'm, I'm usually like a peanut butter guy and not a Nerds. God, but there, it was really good. The Nerd Cheesecake, the crunch was just perfect. All right, so this calls for three tablespoons of oil. One, two, and three. It also calls for a tablespoon of water. Out of the way. Tablespoon of water. Put that down below. Uh, Emily said she loved it. Thank you. Hi, Drew. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Um, yes, Nerd's Cheesecake was awesome. Thanks, Bev. I appreciate that. All right, so now we're just going to mix this up. Oh, I forgot the egg. No wonder. I knew I would when I was wondering why it wasn't sticking together. 
When I put the eggs over there, I knew I'd forget something. There we go. There's the egg. Now let's try this. That'll be better. Yeah, now it's starting to look like cookie dough. <laughs> Hershey Kisses. Oh, yeah. Hershey Kisses on these are amazing. Do that for Christmas time, and that's just, mm, they're so good. Peanut butter cookies with Hershey Kisses are the best. Okay. I think that's pretty good. It's all mixed up well. I'll just move that aside and get out another baking sheet. Now, let's see, let's open some of these up first while my hands are free. So we have a Reese's. We have some of these I can just reach in and grab. Should I do another Reese's? Yeah. One's not going to be enough. Reese's is so good. Yeah, I agree. More the better. Um, yeah, definitely. You should do Kit Kats with uh, Kit Kats with that if you have enough dough. Yeah, I might just do that. So I do have enough Kit Kats. So probably do the Kit Kats with that as well. With peanut butter. Here, I'll open up a kit, one of the Kit Kats just in case. So that way I have all that opened up, ready to go. Pretty sure I'll have enough dough because these are going to be smaller. And this dough is a little better. Keep fry cookie dough. Oh, deep fry cookie dough. Yeah. I like anything deep fried. It's better. Not better for you, but better. All right. So let's see. The first one, we'll do a Reese's, right? So let's just take some dough. I'll put it on here. Put the Reese's in here. And then we can cover it up with the rest of the dough. We won't use as much dough in this as we did for the chocolate chip ones. This this dough is a little easier to work with. The peanut butter dough is. Okay. Next, we have to do a nutter butter cookie, right? So that's kind of a long, skinny one. Just cover that up. Leave yourself enough separation. These might run together, but that's okay. No one's going to complain. All right. The Reese's Pieces. We don't need a lot for that. That's the good news. Put a few different Reese's Pieces in here. And these are good even if you just put it on top. But eh, we're going to stick with the trend and cover them up. So we kind of want to make them all the same size cookies so they'll bake the same. And someone said put a Kit Kat if we have enough dough. So let's try a Kit Kat in here. I think Kyler said that. So put a Kit Kat in there. Maybe a little mix of both. Um, let's go with some. We'll do Reese's Pieces and a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup on this next one maybe. Why not? We got the, you love Reese's? I do too. I even made, I, di I didn't film it, but I did put it on my Instagram. I made a Reese's 
peanut butter pie over the weekend to bring to a party. I have made that before with um, on my channel. And um, this one has Reese's peanut butter cup and Reese's pieces in it. This is going to be amazing. Whoever gets this cookie is going to really... Mm. So that one has both Reese's Pieces and Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Um, I guess we'll do this one now. I think I have enough for both this and another, another Kit Kat. Should I do a Kit Kat and Reese's? Why not? I love Reese's. <laughs> Just in case, we'll put that one in the middle. <laughs> Get back on there. There we go. Hello and shared it. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate that. Tina, hi. I know you're on here earlier already, but I'm just covering this up. We have these cookies, if Cage came on late, are filled with different candies. We have an or uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup on this one. This one is a Nutter Butter cookie. This one's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and a Reese's Pieces in there. This is, I think it's just a, oh, just Reese's Pieces. This is Kit Kat, and this is Kit Kat and Reese's Pieces. Now we're going to, we have enough for one of these. So we'll do that. Another Nutter Butter. He's going to be gigantic, but good. Oh, those other cookies are huge right now. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> These are going to be, <laughs> oh, my gosh. These are going to be huge people, <sighs> but it's all good. It's all fun. All right, so we'll put a little bit over here, and I'll just put some Reese's Pieces in there since... We'll put Reese's Pieces on top of that one. We don't need to hide those. All right. So that timer's getting ready to go off, and we'll check them and see how they look. All right, let's take a look, see what they look like. Oh, my gosh. They are so big, but that's okay. They still need more time. I'm going to put another three minutes. I knew it'll take some time just because of how big they were. So, yeah. All right. James, they have overnight mail. Oh, yeah. Over now. Overnight mail. Mail these cookies to you. Um, yep. So, there will be some lucky people that get some of these, but... They're probably not fans. Uh, Reese's for dinner. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Reese's for dinner. You're right. I love the hashtag. Reese's for dinner hashtag. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Decorate the Kit Kat one with Reese's. See, that's good. Might do that. Hmm. That's good. I could definitely do that. You mean on top? That way I know which one. It, well, I already put some Reese's, but why not? Let's decorate. I'll do it. Can't go wrong with it. Kind of like said chocolate chips, we have Reese's. These are going to expand so much. You're not going to be able to recognize one cookie from the other. Hello from the Bayou State. Hello. Quick question. Anyone can tell me where the Bayou State is? I know, but I'm just asking. Who knows where the Bayou State is? And I know we have some international viewers here, and they probably won't know. Uh, yep, on top. I did. I put some Reese's on top of there. Um, but yeah, we did that. And uh, Joseph says Georgia. Let's move these candies out of the way. We could also, uh, Linda says Louisiana.
Have you had Reese's Cups with Reese's Pieces in them? I think it's Louisiana. Uh, someone says Florida. I can tell you you're nowhere close. Well, close, but not. Uh, West Virginia is watching in Hungry State. Oh, Hungry State. Or Hunger State, I should say. Uh, such a great idea. Oh, it's always fun. So this is the next batch that's going to go in. And just to show Hannah, I put some Reese's on top. Reese's Pieces on top of the Kit Kat one. That Kit Kat one is the one with Kit Kat, and it has some Reese's Pieces in there anyway. This one's just some extra dough. I just didn't want to go to waste. I put some Reese's on there. Uh, this this one has, what do we do with this? I can't remember. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Nutter Butter. Don't even know. I can't remember. any. Oh, this has both Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and Reese's Pieces in here. And then we have other stuff, Kit Kat, Lone Kit Kat, Kit Kat with Reese's, um, Nutter Butter, and I think that's just Reese's inside there. Uh, these are going to go in the oven just a moment. So I put that back in for another two minutes. Um, what did I put, 15 minutes the first time? And then I put another two minutes and another two minutes. That's 19 minutes total. We're going to see if that's enough because you'll see how large this is. So Linda says, Louisiana is the Bayou State. You're absolutely right. That is the correct answer. I was just giving time for people to comment. Yep, Louisiana is the Bayou State. You're right. Uh, you always know how to cure your sweet tooth. Oh, yeah. Um, that's the one thing I'm good at. I didn't get to this, this size by not loving sweets. Uh, Stephanie says, yep, Louisiana, Linda, all y'all, you're all right. Have you thought of switching these cookies up for Halloween, which is the 31st of next month? You're right. It is. Halloween is coming up. And as always, I do a lot of, uh, Halloween recipes every year. Last year, I did a recipe every day in uh, October. I won't do that again this year. That was a lot of work. Um, it, it was just a lot. I had prepared it since the August before to make recipes uh, to be able to do that. And I'm not going to do it every day. But just like now, we have a recipe every Sunday at 2 p.m. We have a recipe every Thursday, which is an ice cream recipe at 3 p.m., and then every Tuesday night, we do a live stream. So three three recipes a week is what you get. Um, if uh, Dwayne says his birthday's in October, my birthday's in October as well. My birthday's October 9th. So that's coming up as well. So, yep. So October's a fun month. All right. So these cookies are going to be coming out in just a moment. I'll show you what they look like. As we transfer these, uh, you need to do some zombie cookies for Halloween. I might just do that. That's a good suggestion. All right, so we're gonna pull these cookies out. I'll show you what they look like. And you can tell me what you think. Remember, they got really, really big. Look at these. They are huge. And I'm looking, the edges are good. I'm concerned about the middle a bit. So I'm going to put it in there a little bit longer, another two minutes. So another two minutes before, because they're just not quite ready. The edges, um, yeah, the edges are fine. It's the middle I'm concerned about because they're so big. Uh, that's why, oh, gee, that's a shocker because my niece is turning two in October. Awesome. There's a lot of birthdays in October. I know a lot of people have birthdays in October. Uh, Frankie Bayou is where they hide. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. So, yeah, these cookies are going to be amazing. But another two minutes in there should be good. And um, they'll be great. And then we'll cook these, which I think these are going to take a little bit less time because the those chocolate chip cookies, they tend to be a little longer. The peanut butter cookies don't need to take as long usually. Your birthday is October 8, Carla. Well, one day before me. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, one day before me. That's really cool. 
Yeah, so make sure you guys are following me both on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you're not, it's Fun Foods on YouTube. Fun Foods, well, it's Fun Foods YT across all platforms. So if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where I share a lot of pictures of different food. I try to post every day. Um, you know, I do my best. Uh, but yeah, I try to get something on there every day. And I usually post about three pictures at a time on the day and some kind of food I make. Um, yep. Uh, do you watch the Goldbergs? It takes place in the eighties. Yes, I do. And it's funny because I actually shared a picture the first year of the Goldbergs. I tweeted a picture out of myself for my ninth birthday or 10th birthday. One of the two where I got an Optimus prime transformer. I'm talking original back in the day. That's what I got for my birthday. And I tweeted that, that photo to them because they had an episode about that. And they retweeted it. And it was really cool that they retweeted my photo of me at 9 or 10 years old getting an Optimus Prime for my birthday in the 80s. <laughs> so that was either 84 if it was ninth birthday or 85 if it was 10th birthday. And, yeah, it was really cool. And that was the original Transformers, not the remakes like they have now. Uh, YT Beverly says YouTube, uh, YT stands for YouTube. That's why the YT is at the end. Okay. So this is about as good as they're going to get. We're going to let these cool down now and I'll put the other ones in. So yeah, we'll I'll leave these over here so we can stare at these because probably I mean ideally I would leave them in there a little longer, but they they'll be fine. They're not they're not too bad. Um, you can see it kind of like bubble up. I imagine that's the Reese's that's bubbled up a bit, and I've lost track of what is where, what what thing we have in which place. But we're going to let these cool down. And while these cool down, our others are in the oven. And then we'll do the taste test, which is the best part of this whole thing. Yes, Ravens did really good the other day. Yes, you're absolutely right. So anyone who watches football, the Baltimore Ravens did amazing against the Miami Dolphins. I don't know if it's because the Baltimore Ravens are really good or if the Miami Dolphins are really bad. but Or maybe a combination of both. But anyway, it's simple to eat. Yeah, it's, oh, I can eat chocolate chip cookies all the time. They look good. Thank you, Jojo. Uh, Vicky, thank you. Yeah, they do look yummy. And they smell amazing too. So, yeah. So, yeah, they look yummy. They smell amazing. Here, I'll angle that back up. Sorry if I keep going back and forth, but wow, the size of your hands. Yeah, it's like, look at the size of these cookies. Like, they're the size of my hands. Just like you said, <laughs> they are gigantic. And I don't have small hands. They're pretty big hands. Um, yeah, these things are massive. One cookie is enough for anyone. Um, yeah. So I will be sharing these. I will not be eating them all myself, sadly. <laughs> uh, yummy can't wait. So they're cool. I know, me either. So hopefully they'll cool down. Cool down, cookies. Cool down. Um, and then we're waiting for the other ones to cook or bake, I should say. Why do they say cook for one thing, bake for another? Isn't it the same? It's cooking, right? Cooking, baking. It's all the same. So, yep. See, I really don't know the difference on that. Does anyone know the difference between cooking and baking? Is there, I mean, I know bake is usually referred to with desserts and cooking is usually referred to with like savory meals. But why? Why is there a difference? If you put something in the oven that you cook for at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and then you bake something in the oven for 320 minutes, what's the difference, right? Jacob Dozer, hey, how's it going? I'm glad you made it. Um, yeah, we need smell vision for sure. Tina, overnight mail, remember? Yep. <laughs> uh, they're literally the same. Yeah, I, that's what I say. So some people say cook, bake, whatever. 
But yeah, these cookies are massive. I'll hold them up to anyone who came in late. This is the first batch of cookies we made. These are chocolate chip cookies, and inside of them, let's angle that down a little. So inside these cookies, we have, this is a Reese's peanut butter cup. Some of them have, or no, this is probably the Oreo. This Oreo cookie is in here. Oreo cookie, and also, what was the other thing we put in there? Oh, uh, Kit Kats. Some of them have Kit Kats. These two probably have Oreo cookies, and these probably have Kit Kats. I've already lost count. So that's what these look like so far. But our other batch have peanut butter cookies that we put Reese's peanut butter cups. Uh, we also did Kit Kats, Reese's pieces, and um, nutter butter cookies. I had to look back at them. Bake is baking. Cooking is on top of a stove. Good. Okay. Bake is in the oven. That's what some people are saying there. But sometimes people say they cook. They'll say if you cook a meatloaf, you're cooking a meatloaf in the oven, but yet you're baking it. <laughs> so I don't know. It's weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't make the rules. <laughs> Bacon is in the oven. That's what Vicky says. Do you bake a meatloaf or do you cook a meatloaf? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm getting all philosoph, you know, being a philosopher here. Um, yeah. It's like, hey, I came here to see some sweet stuff being cooked, not not to challenge my thinking. Yeah, look at the, the size of these things are just, hmm. I can't wait till these things cool down so I can actually try one of these. Isn't baking with bread products like a bakery? That's a good thought. Um, I guess that makes a little sense. Like a bakery. Make bacon ice cream. Oh, bacon ice cream. Now I do every Thursday, I put a different ice cream recipe up and you don't want to miss this Thursdays. Um, it's just a really cool way of making ice cream. And that's what we're doing this Thursday. This Sunday, I have two choices of things that I'm going to do. I filmed one yesterday, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'll say it's a red velvet recipe. Don't know if I'll put that out Sunday or an Oreo recipe. So I have an Oreo recipe. One of the two are going to go out this Sunday. And either way, you can't go wrong. If you love red velvet, you love Oreo. One of the two is going to come out this Sunday and you're you're going to be happy with either one. Bacon is in the oven, uh, cooking cook stuff, cook top. Uh, uh, can you make apple pie ice cream? That's a good suggestion. Bacon maple, maple syrup ice cream. Oh, by the way, lately, if you've noticed, if you watch my YouTube videos, at the end of my YouTube videos, I've been playing my bloopers. So for the last 20 seconds of my video, I've been playing my bloopers throughout that video. So uh, you want to stay tuned to the end of my videos to catch those bloopers because I make lots of mistakes when I'm filming. It's just what happens. That's just the facts. So make sure you stay tuned. Watch those bloopers. Don't just click off thinking, oh, he's done. You want to see them because some of them are pretty funny. I know the that red velvet involves cocoa powder. Yeah. Or if you make a cake box mix, it doesn't, but it does. It's at the factory. <laughs> yes. So red velvet is basically a chocolate cake that's just turned red color-wise. Uh, whether it's a cake or cookies, it could be anything. I'll tell you, it's not a cake. It's not cookies. It's, it's kind of, it's different. That's all I can tell you. It's red velvet something cool. Um, hmm. yep. Bacon is in the oven. Yep. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to go look at these cookies and see how they're coming along. Oh yeah. They're coming along nicely. Let me touch this. Ooh, these are starting to cool down a little bit. Hope it's a muffin. Beverly says, um, I will tell you, I did use yeast in the recipe, the red velvet recipe. So yeah, I'll give you that hint. Do you consider Die Hard a Christmas movie? Oh, that's, yes, I do, actually. I do consider it a Christmas movie. I know it's kind of a, it's an action movie, but I do kind of consider it a Christmas movie. Uh, do you, con oh, I already read that. Uh, hello from Albuquerque. Oh, hello, Albuquerque. So you just joined us. We made these cookies. These cookies have candy inside of them. These have an Oreo cookie inside these two. And I think Kit Kats inside these. Uh, the other batch we have in the oven, these are chocolate chip cookies, by the way, and they're massive. Um, the other batch we have is peanut butter cookies. 
And inside those, we put Reese's Pieces, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and we did Kit Kats too, didn't we? Oh, and Nutter Butter Cookies. I always forget about Nutter Butter. So Nutter Butter Cookies. So Hannah says Red Velvet Bread. Well, you're getting warmer. Um, red Velvet is good. Yes, it is good. I love Red Velvet, but I love chocolate too, so it makes sense. Yeah, it's something, it's something unique. It's Red Velvet. It's something unique. You're never going to guess it. You just got to wait till Sunday. Um, it's really cool. Wonder, should I show you a picture or not? I don't know. I can't because my phone's up there streaming, so I can't even show you a picture. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> uh, can you do some more Kool-Aid recipes? Yes, I'll definitely do some more Kool-Aid recipes. Um, I haven't done any in a little while, but uh, I will do some more. I like the Kool-Aid recipes. They're a lot of fun, whether it's the Kool-Aid marshmallows, Kool-Aid slushies. Um, I think I, I did Kool-Aid just about everything. <laughs> I've even done Kool-Aid pancakes, which, by the way, were really, really sweet. Um, not my favorite out of it. I did Kool-Aid cookies, I think. I think I did Kool-Aid cookies. Oh, I did Kool-Aid um, Kool macaroons. That's what I did. Red velvet is good. Red velvet cheesecake, somebody says. Or ice cream. Oh, you're getting close, but nope. Uh, yeah, I do Mega Man consider Die Hard a Christmas movie. Yes, absolutely. Uh, hey, I tried my best on guessing the recipe in the live stream. Well, that's good. Hey, you try. That's all you can ask for. But yeah, this Sunday, you're going to have to see this red velvet recipe. Um, you know what it isn't already. You know it's not bread. It's not cheesecake. It's not ice cream and all the other guesses people said. Since fall is coming, can you do fall stuff like pumpkin? And yes, I'm thinking about doing like a pumpkin spice ice cream. And I'll do a couple other Halloween type ice creams. Uh, definitely going to do that for Thursday nights. Um, you remember the Kool-Aid slushies. Awesome. Hello from Texas. First time here. Well, thanks for coming on. Um, just to recap, we have some cookies in the oven right now. They're peanut butter cookies that have um, Reese's peanut butter cups inside of them. They have Reese's pieces, nut butter cookies, and some Kit Kats. Now these, okay, these are the ones I made earlier. These are chocolate chip cookies, and they have Oreo cookies inside of these, and these have Kit Kats inside of those. And it's cooling down enough so I can touch with my hands, but I can't touch it too long. And I just want these to cool down just enough. And then when they come out of the oven, I'll cut these up and show you what these look like. Uh, Kool-Aid pancakes are good. Just don't use so much Kool-Aid. Yes, I have to, on some of those Kool-Aid recipes, I've used way too much Kool-Aid. And it just made it so sweet that it's just too much. So that's the thing I have to learn to cut back on the Kool-Aid sometimes. Uh, yep. Uh, plus, they're not keto. These are not keto. You're right, Frankie. Um, and I even remember the Kool-Aid marshmallows. Yeah, the Kool-Aid marshmallows were really cool. That was a fun recipe. I was able to make the different flavor ones, and they really held their flavor well. You know how marshmallows are very bland, but the Kool-Aid held their flavor really well, especially the uh, cherry flavor and the grape. We're really good with that. Make marshmallow cheesecake. That's a good suggestion. You remember the Kool-Aid ice cream? Yeah, Kool-Aid ice cream was very sweet as well. Uh, Kool-Aid pancakes. Yep. Yep. Uh, candy corn ice cream would be kind of interesting. That would be interesting. You know, people either love or hate candy corn. So either you're going to get a lot of views or n like almost no views. People, they either love it or they hate it. And that's the thing about candy corn. I've made all kinds of candy corn recipes in the past. I've made a giant candy corn. It was about that big. Um, that was like early on in fun foods. I've made candy corn cupcakes, candy corn cake. I've made all kinds of stuff. Um, let's see. Color. I have made the Kool-Aid slushies multiple times. Yeah, they're, they're really good. That, that was actually a really good recipe. Um, yeah, it was really good. When you make a slushies, you kind of have to drink it fast before the, like the ice, forms down to the top and all the liquid at the bottom, but you can keep mixing up. It's good. Shout you out, Adrian. I love candy corn. That's what Ashley says. Uh, Dwayne says, love candy corn. Red velvet pound cake. Nope. <laughs> uh, Adrian, please. 
uh, red velvet donuts. Oh, you're getting real close there, Hannah. That's real close, but nope. Um, I'm from Northern Ireland. What is Kool-Aid? Yeah, that's right. Because over there, I actually brought my friend's Kool-Aid a couple years ago when I went to England to visit because they didn't know what Kool-Aid was. And I brought different packages of Kool-Aid so they can try different ones. Um, and my friend, I wasn't paying attention. They took this Kool-Aid. They're from Scotland, by the way. Uh, they took this and we were at a, a pub or a bar and they sent the kid inside to get a small glass like this big of water to mix into the Kool-Aid. And they poured the whole package of Kool-Aid into this much water. And because they didn't understand how much like quartz were. <laughs> so they, and the kid took one drink of this was like, his, his like face puckered up because they put the whole package of Kool-Aid into this little bit of water. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's sweet. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, I didn't catch it. And I was like, oh, no, no, you can't put that much Kool-Aid in that little bit of water. Uh, red velvet bagels, no, but you're close. It's it's between donut and bagel. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> but yeah, it was amazing. Uh, my friends said that was back in like 2016, I want to say. And we were there and we are in London for somewhere in the city that time. And uh, we we're having a good time. And it was funny to see them. I was like, you can't put that much Kool-Aid with that little bit of water. That mm -mm, not going to work. So we got about 30 seconds left on our 15-minute timer. I'm going to check these cookies. I'm sure I'm going to have to extend the timer. But let me check them. Ooh, not bad. All right. I extended the time three minutes. Um, they're really close, actually. I think three minutes would be good. All right. So what do you say we cut these open and uh, try some of these out? I'm just going to angle this down. These are cool enough now I can touch them. Here, we'll... Um, let's, let's put them on a plate. And then... You cut them up and stuff. We'll get it all worked out in a minute. So let's see, just to, so you can see how the bottom turned out. Look at that. It's actually perfect. So it could have stayed in there a little bit longer. This I know has an Oreo cookie on there. And um, let's get one of these. I think this has the Kit Kat. All right, so we'll do one and one. I'll move this out of the way. I got to get some pictures of this first because, you know, got to do that. I should cut. We'll cut the other ones up. But I'm just going to get pictures of this real quick. Because we got to for Instagram, right? So let's get a couple pictures. And then see how that looks real quick. Maybe if I put that was Oreo, right? Oreo and Kit Kat. Gotta make it look good, right? So that, put a double stuffed Oreo back here. And then we'll put that back there. Gotta have a good backdrop. We'll get a little overhead shot here. Maybe one close up. Another one of those. Okay, enough of that stuff. Let's do the fun part. Let's get that out of the way. Check these. No, not quite ready. 
right, so let's move that. We're going to cut the other ones because I don't want to mess up the good ones, right? They're for the pitcher. And then um, let's, what do you say we cut this one? This has an Oreo cookie in it, right? Let's scoop this. You also need milk. Oh, yeah, milk and cookies. You can't go wrong with that. Here, we'll do this. Try to keep it intact the best possible. Uh, what else is in the oven? Uh, what's in the oven right now are the peanut butter cookies that have Reese's in them. They have Reese's and uh, like Reese's Pieces, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, uh, Nutter Butter Cookies. So I'm going to cut this one right in half. This should be the Oreo cookie, I think. Oh, look at that. Check that out. This is an Oreo cookie one. Oh, I should put that half of that on the plate so I can get a good picture. All right, so half that's going to go on the plate. We'll get a picture of it later, but. We'll figure out the picture later, but we cut that. Let's cut. I think this one. What else did we have? Or we had nutter butter cook or Kit Kat. I think if I cut it this way, it'll cut it in half. I don't know, but we're gonna try it. This is should be the Kit Kat one. Yep, there's the Kit Kat. There you go. So now we have a Kit Kat one and. Oreo one. I'll put that over there too. All right. Now let's try this out. Let's angle the cameras up so I can. Why only 22 people watching? I don't know. Uh, all right. Thanks. Yep. Boy, why? <laughs> while you're taking pictures, you'd be eating a cookie. <laughs> So, yep. So, here we go. We're going to try it out. Which one should I go for first? The Kit Kat or the Oreo cookie one? Let me know. So, you have a choice. You have Oreo cookie, Kit Kat. So, they're both peanut butter. So, uh, Beverly says Kit Kat. Hannah says Kit Kat. Uh, Andrew or you know, Kit Kat, Oreo, Oreo, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. It looks like Kit Kat's going to win. We'll go with the Kit Kat first. So I'm going to try to bite it right in the middle because we want to get that Kit Kat in. Nick, hey, how's it going, buddy? So we're going to eat this one. This is a chocolate chip cookie with a Kit Kat. I'm going to check that in a minute. Don't let me forget. Hmm. I'm surprised not a lot of the chocolate melted off of the Kit Kat. I know we did encase that in the cookie really good. But yeah, going to end stream shortly. Um, well, not too shortly, at least five more minutes because we're going to pull out some cookies in the, out of the oven. So I'm still on here at least for five more minutes or so. This is a chocolate chip cookie with an Oreo cookie inside of it. Let's try that and try to bite that in the middle. Mm, oh my gosh, this is good. Oh, that's my favorite so far. The Oreo cookie one. Oh my gosh, the cookie like is real soft. Like you know when you put it in milk, and that cookie gets really soft. Mmm, that is amazing. So far, the Oreo cookie one is winning. Uh, Kit Kat don't like the Oreo cookie. If you love Oreo cookies, yeah. So far, that's amazing. Let me check the oven real quick. Okay, we're gonna pull these out of the oven because I'll oh, angle this cat down. I gotta check the oven. Thank you, Hannah, for the reminder. Um, that I was just so overwhelmed with the Oreo cookie inside of that chocolate chip cookie. That oh my gosh, that's amazing! All right, look at this, guys. Now, obviously, our small little cookie is well done, these are all good. Um, like I said, it could use a little more time, but it's okay. We're going to let these cool down. These are peanut butter cookies, and they have, this has a Kit Kat, 
some Reese's Pieces inside of there and Reese's Pieces on top. This just has Reese's Pieces on top because I had some leftover dough. I didn't want to go to waste. If I remember correctly, this, this has a peanut butter cup, Reese's peanut butter cup. This has a nutter butter. This, I believe, has something. <laughs> what does it have? I believe that has uh, a Kit Kat. I don't know. I, I've already lost. No, it, that has Reese's Pieces and Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. This has just Reese's Pieces. This has a Kit Kat. And this has a Nutter Butter. I got it all figured out now. We got to let these cool a little bit. They're still too hot. I'm going to turn the oven off. Because I'm hot. In so many ways. Hot. All right. So that's it. Let me tell you guys that Oreo cookie one. Oh, yeah. Really amazing. All right. Oh, looks great. Thank you, Tina. Uh, Reese's peanut butter cup first. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with the Reese's peanut butter cup first, but we have to let them cool a little bit. It's still a little, little warm. Probably another five minutes for them to cool down. And then we will eat those on camera and then I'll get pictures afterwards. We don't need to get pictures. Then uh, I have to figure out what to put these on. This is that Reese's peanut butter cup one first for sure. Um, the other day, my family and I made an Oreo pie. Oh, Oreo pie sounds amazing. You know, I have to do that. I have made Oreo ice cream, like an Oreo ice cream pie basically, but as ice cream. Uh, but I don't think I've made an Oreo pie. Like I, I got to do that sometime. Um, yep. So yeah, we're going to be, uh, stick them in the fridge. I know it's like, ugh. I want them to cool down. Maybe I will a little bit. Have you thought making the Oreo burrito? Yes. Yeah, Nick, I, I have thought of making it. In fact, I've already started the process of making it. Uh, so earlier I was telling people I made two different recipes. One was a red velvet type recipe for this Sunday. The other is if I finish the Oreo burrito, I'm making an Oreo burrito uh, inspired by my friends, JP and Julia from Healthy Junk Food. They made an Oreo taco and I said, well, I can make an Oreo burrito. So I'm going to do that. And I'm in the process. I've made the one part of it. I have to make the other part. So still have a lot of work to do. That's how I saw it. Yeah, JP and Julia come up with some good stuff, don't they? Um, they're really good people. You should have more subs. Thank you, Adrian. Um, make like a cookies and cream pie. It's funny you say that. I didn't make the pie, but I did make something else, cookies and cream. <laughs> Uh, Oreo cheesecake. Have you made one before? I have not made no, I don't think I have. No, I made, uh, I've not made an Oreo cheesecake. I have made just about every other type of cheesecake and you keto burrito. Oh, the keto burrito, the bacon burrito was amazing. Um, it's really good. If you are on a keto diet or even if you're not, I made a bacon burrito, which is the the, instead of a tortilla, I used bacon, like basket weave bacon, and I used that as my tortilla. It's amazing. So, yep. Uh, so, hi, these waffles. Hi. <laughs> Oreo cheesecake. Yep. So, we're going to let these cool down. Um, maybe I will take Hannah's suggestion if I have room in my fridge. I don't know. I'll put it in my freezer just for a moment. Not long. in there just like two minutes and that might help the process but it's bacon processed uh isn't bacon processed yes it is still bacon though <laughs> yep make a sausage egg and cheese mcgriddle that's good i do love uh one of my favorite things from mcdonald's for breakfast is a bacon egg and cheese biscuit i love that do you watch Healthy Junk Food? I do. Uh, they're friends of mine, JP and Julia. Uh, they've actually, we've made recipes. I've made recipes of theirs. They've made recipes of mine. Um, they made a couple different recipes of mine. Uh, the, the Mountain Dew ice cream one time. And it's funny because we were on a plane together coming back from VidCon. And uh, they had seen me. And then a month later, 
I made the Mountain Dew ice cream and they, you know, they contacted me as, Hey, James, do you mind if I make it? I'm like, no, that's, I want people to make the recipes. That's what I want. So they made it and for their channel, it was really cool. And then uh, I think it was like two years ago, I made the hand pulled cotton candy and they made that as well. Um, yeah, they're really good people. I did have McDonald's for breakfast one time. Yeah. How about you do mint chocolate ghost cookies? That's a good suggestion. That's I'm always looking for suggestions for Halloween because, like I said, I like to put out a lot of videos on Halloween. And, um, you know, I'm pretty much ready to film my Halloween videos now because I have to get them filmed ahead of time. So I have time to edit videos and stuff. One of my favorite videos of theirs is the chicken inside a waffle. Yeah, they did a good job with that one. I like that. Take your pictures of the peanut butter cookies. Uh, I will I will do that last, actually, so I'm not, like, wasting time taking pictures. Uh, so the peanut butter cookies I'll do last because I'm not going to eat all of them, obviously. <laughs> um, so I'll have some left that I can take pictures of. But, yeah, I will. But thank you for reminding me, Linda. Uh, Oreo cheesecake, have you made one? Oh, I already read that. All right, so let's open this up and see if that helped cool them down a little bit. little but they're still yeah back in the freezer it goes <laughs> yeah uh brain shake oh a brain shake oh like like looking like a brain uh hello jennifer hi so uh, did you hear about Hershey's wanting to change the date of Halloween? Hmm. No, I didn't hear, but I know every year all the like media wants to change it to the Saturday, the last Saturday of the month, which kind of, when you get older, it kind of makes sense. That way kids have time to, um, you know, go trick-or-treating or go to a party or something and everything. And it's really cool that way they don't have to worry about going to school the next day um as you get older you like that but in some ways i'm a traditional traditional list i kind of like having it on the same day every year but i do understand why people want it done on this last saturday of the month it makes more sense like people can do that um nope i'm from maryland like nick says that's i live in maryland uh hello hey mark mike let me show you guys what i made while we're waiting for the other ones to cool down so these are the first batch I made. This, I'm trying to make sure they don't fall everywhere. This, we made chocolate chip cookies. Oh, my Facebook camera's too high. So angle that down. Um, sitting here with the fun food shirt on. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoy the fun food shirt. Uh, so I made chocolate chip cookies, and I put inside of them. This one had Kit Kat inside of them. This one had an Oreo cookie inside of it. And by the way, that this one was the best out of all of it so far. Still have other stuff to make. So we did that. I tasted it. And by far, the Oreo cookie one was absolutely amazing. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Put the Oreo cookie inside of a chocolate chip cookie and you'll love it. It's, it's moist. It's, it's almost like you dipped it in, in milk. It's really, really good. He's up from near Baltimore. Yep, Baltimore. Actually, Baltimore's right out that window. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. For a fall Halloween idea, you should make some sort of pumpkin spice ice cream. I plan on doing that. Pumpkin spice ice cream for sure. I do have other Halloween ice creams planned. You know, more gruesome stuff. You got to have the gruesome stuff. Uh, you can't see what you can't see Baltimore or you can't see the cookies. Here, I'll, this cookie is the Oreo cookie uh, cut open. This has the Oreo cookie inside of it. It's chocolate chip cookie, and it it was amazing. I, I'm i trying not to devour the whole thing because I'm trying to save room for the peanut butter ones. Uh, I got to try that too. But, yeah, this one's amazing. If you make any cookie out of all these, take an Oreo cookie, put it inside of regular peanut butter or regular chocolate chip cookies. You won't be disappointed at all. Hey, Chicken McNuggets, how are you? So this was a chocolate chip cookie with an Oreo cookie inside of it. We made one with a Kit Kat inside of it, and we're just waiting on our peanut butter cookies to cool down because we made Reese's peanut butter cups in there. We also have uh, Reese's Pieces. We have Nutter Butter cookies inside of them. 
And we also put a Kit Kat inside of them too. So, yep. Uh, sitting here with your fun food shirt. Oh, yeah, I read that, Mike. Yep. So I'm glad you enjoy your fun food shirt. I, I know I was giving out shirts and aprons a while back. And who knows? I might start that up again sometime where I give out shirts and aprons. Uh, it's a fun thing to do. One way to reward people who watch my live streams. So I'll probably start that up in maybe a couple weeks. We'll see. Uh, I went to that post the other day with the game info dude in florida and i mentioned you in the comment oh cool make grape donuts grape donuts that is sounds strange but it's actually kind of not bad all right let me check these cookies all right. i think they're they're probably cool enough that we can get into them so these are the peanut butter cookies and this is peanut butter and reese's peanut butter cup peanut butter and nutter butter this is Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and Reese's Pieces. Now, you guys got to help me out. Which one should I go first? Just the Peanut Butter Cup by itself? Peanut Butter Cup with Reese's. Nutter Butter. That's Kit Kat. Just Reese's Pieces by itself. Um, what was the other things we did? Oh, just Reese's. This had just Reese's Pieces. This had Kit Kat with the Reese's. Uh, someone said Kit Kat. This was Kit Kat just by itself. A lot of you say Kit Kat, Kit Kat, Nutter Butter, one Nutter Butter from Beverly. Can't see them. Uh, oh, that was the last one. So, Kit Kat. A lot of people want the Kit Kat ones, huh? Peanut Butter Cup, a couple Peanut Butter Cups, and lots of Kit Kat. So we'll do a, a Kit Kat, and should I do the Peanut Butter Cup by itself or the Peanut Butter Cup with the Reese's? This has a Peanut Butter Cup and Reese's. Which one? Which one? So we'll do one Kit Kat. And then we'll do either one of these peanut butter cups. One with the Reese's or not, but no, just the peanut butter cup. So, yeah, we'll do. Let's do that. Let's uh, we'll angle the cameras down. We'll cut this open. You will do the Reese's, uh, put them on top and eat them like a sandwich. Uh, peanut butter cup alone. That's what we will do that, Tina. So this is a peanut butter cup by itself. We're going to cut that open. And um, here we go, ready for the peanut butter cup. This is just the peanut butter cup by itself. Try to get a nice even cut and I'll show you what we got. Look at that. You see the peanut butter cup, peanut butter cookie. Oh mm, my gosh, I can't wait to try that. While we're down here, let's cut these up. So y'all said the let me move this out of the way. This is the Nutter Butter, so I'm just going to move that out of the way because y'all said you wanted the Kit Kat. So let's cut into the Kit Kat one. Cut this one. Here's the Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Yeah, each turned out so good, can't do. So, all right, so let's try this out. Let's angle the camera up. Try this out, and uh, so I can just rub it in your face how good these are. Has to be peanut butter cups. Okay, yeah, uh, we're definitely doing a peanut butter cup one. Um, you probably don't play video games. Uh, not very often, no. So peanut butter cup. This is a peanut butter cup inside of a peanut butter cookie, and we're going to try it out, see how it tastes. Here we go. Overnight mail to Tina. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. Can't go wrong with that at all. It's peanut butter overload with a little bit of chocolate in there. Can't go wrong. All right. So next, Kit Kat. Got to do the Kit Kat one because you guys want it. Kit Kat with a peanut butter cookie. That's what we made me hungry. Mm hmm I like the, the Kit Kat with the peanut butter better, and I like the Kit Kat with the chocolate chip cookies. But out of all of them, surprisingly, the Oreo cookie with the chocolate chip cookies, this one 
was the best out of all of them. It's an Oreo cookie inside chocolate chip cookie. This one was the absolute best. You got to make any of them, make this one. This is the one you want to do, people. It's mm, so good. Don't want to miss out on that. So if you learn anything from this, learn to make the Oreo cookie inside of chocolate chip cookie. It's amazing. It smells so good. Uh, favorite candy, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for coming on for this live stream. I really appreciate it. Every Tuesday night, we do this live stream at 6 p.m. Every Thursday at 3 p.m., I put out a ice cream recipe. And every Sunday, our normal recipe comes out at 2 p.m. So make sure you check those things out. And as always, follow me on all my social media at Fun Foods YT. And I will see you guys later. Thank you for joining me in this live stream. Have a good night and a good week.